So there's one more way of measuring variables. And remember, variables are kind of the big deal for us because if things didn't change, then we wouldn't need to bother with statistics at all because everybody would be lemmings, right? But what matters to us is that everything's different and we want to know how it's different. So we've, we've got qualitative and quantitative and then quantitative gets divvied up into um, discrete and continuous. And now we have a different thing called um, the level of measurement. And I should have mentioned this before, but I'll say it now. It's, it's how things are measured and whether they're continuous or discrete or whatever affects what you can do with them. And that'll mean like some things you can only do with qualitative variables, some things you can only do with the ordinal level of measurement, some things, you know, that kind of thing. So these definitions you're learning are kind of big deals for us later on, but they, they won't come out and shout at you and say, hey, I'm a big deal. They'll just be embedded in everything that you do for the rest of the course. Okay, so nominal is um, categories. Um, the ordinal is categories, but they're categories with an order to them. Right, so you can be ranking them. Interval are values that are quantitative. They have ordinal level of measurement, but they have a v v zero that does not rep represent the absence of a quantity. In other words, you can get lower than zero. And then ratio means that zero is as low as you can go. Um, the value of zero means the absence of the quantity. The arithmetic operation such as this. Okay, so the type of wood you would use in your kitchen, like pecan and all of that, that's cool qualitative and it's nominal, right? So there's no rank to pine versus oak or that kind of thing. But the rating on a movie or on a statistics instructor, <laughs> so when you fill out those things at the end of the semester and they say, you know, how did you rate this person scale one to 10? That's ordinal. You're giving them a ranking, but how much better is nine stars than eight stars? Uh, you know, you don't know. Same thing with gold, silver, bronze. It's got an order to it, but you can't do a meaningful calculation on that order. You know gold is better than silver, which is better than bronze. There should be a comma there. But but you don't know how much, right? So they're, they're categories, but they've got an order to them. Now, the year a student was born. So if you were born in 19, I don't know, 1990, and somebody else was born in 1992, you know that you're two years older than that person, right? So not only is there an order, right, 1990s before 1992, but you can do a meaningful calculation on it. Now, he, then the question becomes, so it's it's past ordinal, right, you're in the interval versus ratio thing. So then the question is, the real difference between these two is, does the value of zero mean absence of a quantity? So what was year zero? Psych, there was no year zero, haha, <laughs> that's why it's interval, right, when there's no meaningful zero, that's the interval level of measurement. The length of time it takes for you to swim the 100 meter butterfly. Okay, well, you've got, you know, I don't know, if I swim it in one minute and you swim it in two minutes, you know I'm a minute faster than you. So it's got order to it. It's got ranking. Is there a zero? If, if, if I can do that race in no time, what does that mean? Right? It means something, right? Like the stopwatch never ran or whatever. So that's ratio. Okay. Social security number. Uh, it's a number, but not really. That's nominal, right? Somebody with a higher social security number is not better than somebody with a lower social security number. That's not how it works. All right. A student's body temperature in degrees Celsius. All right. Now, Celsius has a zero to it, but zero doesn't mean like there's no temperature. There's a temperature, right? It's actually lower than zero outside right now as I speak, right? So it's, it's negative values in Celsius right now. So zero doesn't have a meaning. It, it has a meaning, but it's not the absolute lowest. So that would be interval. And you know what? Let me take a moment here and add in another one here. I'll do this in the notes so you guys won't see this. But what if it was degrees Kelvin? Kelvin is a scale that was set up so that absolute zero is zero. It's as low as you possibly can get. I know there's some physics arguments you might get a little bit lower for a moment, but that's we're not going to get into that. So that would be ratio. The zero is as low as possible. You cannot get any lower. Celsius and Fahrenheit but both work this way. Fahrenheit also, oh, I can never, hold on. Fahrenheit also has a zero, but the zero is not as low as you can go, right? So that would also be interval, but Kelvin was set up to be ratio. Now the number of leaves on a maple tree, ratio, right? The height of pine trees, ratio. Ratio is a big deal for us. We want to work with ratio more than anything else. It's the highest level of measurement. It's the best.